All right, listen, I did make an unboxing video as I promised Kickstarter backers in the last update I did. Um, I did make it. Um, so yeah, got to sort of see me uh, taking Milky 1 and 2 uh, out of the box in the first time. I got the shipment from uh, Mixam uh, the other day. Uh, you know, it's what all the cool kids are doing, the unboxing video. Um, but I made it. It was... It was a nice video, 15 minutes long. Uh, I, I did an impression of Brad Pitt in it. Like, like what's, in, what's in that bar? I can't do it now, but this from Seven. Um, but I finished recording it and it had no audio. Um, in retrospect, before I started making the video, it did come up with an error message, uh, which it later did again, and the error message said, microphone not working. Um, so I was just quite keen to make the video. I was like, shut up, error message. I'm busy. Um, always pay attention to error messages, kids. Um, so that's that. Good news. I think it looks really good. Um, I think uh, Milky Two um, is. Uh, I was really looking forward to seeing because I think the colours uh, that DC did and the and the artwork for the cover I think look great. It's quite different to the first one, which is a bit darker in tone. Uh, these colours really pop. Um, I'm really happy with the way that came out. In the first, the first printing of Milky Number One, uh, I think feels really quality. Um, but the paper's just a little bit rigid I found so it was hard to kind of flick through it and I think not being able to flick through a comic book uh, you got you got that flickability um, so yeah the the new one does does have that which just just feels kind of uh, really special to me um, so really happy with the way that came out um, also the posters as well uh, they came through so I think they look really good anyone that backed us uh, on the big cheese the big cheese tier Rewards uh, will actually has got their name on it, so you've got an executive producer credit, um, or for like people I know, friends and family. Um, I've uh, you, you you might see an executive uncle in there. I just thought that sounded funny. Um, so that's on the poster, and also the print that my friend Martin Plisko did. Uh, uh, he's a Polish uh, comic book artist and colorist. Uh, did a really nice guest print for us. So I launched that quite late in the campaign. So. Not everyone maybe noticed that or got hold of that, but I, I will be making it available. Uh, I think as either an add-on um, or a stretch goal, probably an add-on um, for uh, for the next campaign. Uh, I think I've shown them before, but uh, we got the coasters, um, the stickers, uh, and the Lucy bookmarks have come through. But um, I kind of backed myself into a bit of a corner with the way I've designed it. It, it kind of the design really does require for the, the, the printing press to cut it sort of in a very specific line, but printing presses don't really work like that and there's kind of a margin of error you need to play with and only like 20 of the 100 actually came out, so I'm gonna have to reorder those. So um, yeah, I was hoping to get them sent off this week, uh, but anything that's not just the comic book itself uh, will have to wait until I've reordered the bookmarks, unfortunately, so sorry that was, Really my fault, but as I said, um, you know, never designed a bookmark before and didn't really consider that. So um, hopefully, I've had a bit of a rejig of the design and uh, they should come out a little bit better now. So so that's it. The books are here. Um, I will be uh, so I've actually uh, literally Amazon just just turned up uh, with these sharpies. Uh, the uh, the first book I'd signed uh, sort of on the inside uh, cover was like a white gel pen because it was like a black page. Um, yeah, it kind of came out, but uh, did, doing a bit of research, these these sharpies, these um, metallic ones, are the best really for signing on like dark pages. So, uh, quite looking forward to to signing my name with these bad boys. Um, so they're here. Apart from the bookmarks, we're all ready to rock. So I'm gonna get on with signing some stuff, packing some things into into the um, uh, into the little plastic wallet with the with the backing board. Uh, probably sending off the first shipment. I think I'll take them in batches because, um, you know, when I went to the post office before with a big stack of comic books, they kind of rolled their eyes at me. Uh, and then you got to stay friends with the post office, man. If they're gonna, if you're gonna keep sending books through them, I think. So, um, thanks a lot for uh, for for watching. For anyone that backed us, uh, we're now pretty close uh, with Milky Number Three. The artwork's nearly finished, um, and DC set to do the colours. We'll start on the colours this week, so. Hopefully, uh, I, I kind of hope to do like a Halloween launch, but I don't think we're 
going to make that. I mean, with indie comics, it's pretty hard to really give a official launch date because you've got quite a few sort of moving parts. What with the the the, the main artist, the cover artist, the colorist, uh, the lettering, me doing a lot of the marketing stuff, designing the trailers. It's kind of a lot of yeah moving parts, um, and it's kind of hard to say. But this year for sure, um, I'd like to say November, but uh, it's not always that easy to. To work it out but it's coming very soon it's, it's, it's looking great the artworks uh, looking awesome for this one it's been more of an action-packed uh, issue as well so really excited to get that one out there um, so thanks again and uh, stay tuned for more updates